Another very important concept that really helps you prepare for this shift that we're now moving through is what I refer to as the original wound. I discovered a long time ago through deep meditation on the human condition that we all have the same basic wounding at the core of our soul. This wounding appears to be the root of all addictive and compulsive behaviors that we would ever get stuck in. This original wound is an illusion, but it becomes very compelling to us and it buries deep within our subconscious mind to the point that we don't even realize it's there. This wound comes from the sense that the Creator has abandoned us and we've been left exposed and unprotected on this planet. This wound comes from the fact that we often see our parents as if they were gods when we're a little child. Invariably, our parents are going to disappoint us and we're going to have painful experiences where we feel abandoned, left alone, that our needs are not being met, that nobody really seems to care about us, and we invariably project that same disappointment onto the Creator. This, in turn, leads to what I call the Wheel of Karma, where we keep repeating the same painful experiences over and over again. In fact, what always seems to happen is that new characters keep appearing in our lives who fulfill the same roles on a deep archetypal level as our parents once did. Now, we may not become conscious of this. We may not realize that that's what's happening to us. We think that these people in our lives are different one from the other. But we start to notice that it seems like we have bad luck or that there's a theme that keeps repeating in our lives. Why is it that I always end up here in the same spot and the same things keep happening over and over again? Isn't it ever going to change? Well, believe it or not, in my estimation, the universe is here to teach us love and forgiveness. And there's a very essential statement made within the Law of One series where it says, in forgiveness lies the stoppage of the Wheel of Karma. The Wheel of Karma represents this rotating series of experiences that we keep going through, where over and over again we meet with the result of what we've created. But it's only once we learn forgiveness that the wheel actually stops rotating when it reaches the top, and we don't have to keep collapsing into the dark night of the soul, as it's called, over and over again. Our lives become increasingly blessed and magical, and the experiences that used to make us seem so overwhelmed no longer have an effect on us, and therefore they don't need to happen. It's also extremely important to recognize that you have a higher self and to learn many of the practical tools that are available to you that will allow you to access that higher self.